हरे कृष्ण डोंट मेक एन इश्यू ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन इन टू एन इश्यू ऑफ ट्रस्ट सपोज से दर इज अंग चाइल्ड इन द हाउस और यंग मैन इन द हाउस एंड द पेरेंट्स आर गोइंग आउट इन द पेरेंट्स लॉक द डोर एंड द चाइल्ड सेज यंग पर्सन सेज दैट नो आई कैन प्रोटेक्ट माई हाउस वाई शुड आई वाई डोट नीड टू लॉक इट फ्रॉम इन साइड Uh, no, if some thief comes in, no, no, I'm strong enough. I can beat the life out of the thief. No one can steal anything from here. So now, uh, actually, even if it is true that this uh, person can beat the thief, why invite danger? Now, who knows? The thief may come with a weapon. Sometimes four or five thieves may come in, and if a simple gesture is there, locking the door, that can protect the person substantially, then why object to that? It's an issue of protection. If we may, if the child makes the issue, if the young person makes that issue of protection into an issue of trust, don't you trust me? Don't you think that I am strong enough to guard the house? So it's not an issue of trust. It's an issue of protection. So by making an issue of protection into an issue of trust, we unnecessarily create, we unnecessarily open ourselves to trouble. So similarly, in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna actually, when he is talking about how to combat lust, from three point thirty six to forty three, at one point he tells in three point forty that the sma three point forty one he states that the sma tamindriyanya dau niyamya bharatarshabha papamanam prajahiya enam gyan vigyan naashanam. So he says the sma tamindriyanya dau. Therefore. in the beginning itself he says control your desires control lust in the smatam indriyanya adau in the beginning niyamya bharata rishabha regulate arjuna regulate the desires regulate lust papamanam prajahiya enam know that this is actually a symbol of lust papamanam gyana vigyana nashanam and it destroys knowledge gyana and vigyana it destroys the urge for knowledge we become ignorant and we don't even feel the need to come out of ignorance because we become ignorant of our ignorance and thus we stay trapped so krishna is saying that this is a, this is a very dangerous enemy now shinna it destroys our knowledge it destroys our inclination for acquiring knowledge and thus it keeps us trapped in ignorance and it keeps us ignorant that we are trapped in ignorance also so last is basically a formidable enemy and to the extent we understand that it is enemy to the extent we recognize that we need to prevent it from entering into us or aggravating its forces within us by external temptation and external sensory senses sensuously titillating stimuli so how do we avoid that we avoid that by not letting our senses succumb so we regulate our senses asmatam indriyanya adau in the beginning itself control the senses so for example no if we have a tv with uh, some uh, some some obscene channels over there we don't have access to those channels if there is internet where there is unlimited access available and there is so much dirt available on the internet so much porn there then we have a internet filter wherein we don't have access to such things So now, if somebody says, if somebody asks, some our well wishers suggest that better have an internet right filter over there. They say, don't you trust me? It is not an issue of trust. It's an issue of protection. Now we don't know how some time just as we don't know how thieves may come in, and uh, ba- the door is a basic, a basic measure for protecting oneself. Uh, similarly we don't know how some pop up will come up how the brow- how the browser may go to some site or whatever so and where there may be obscene content available where they we can't see and how it may pop up so it's better to always have a filter so this is just one example but in general if we know that we are vulnerable to certain temptations then keeping a distance from those temp- tempting objects and create and creating arrangements by which we keep a safe distance from them that uh, and uh, helping and taking the help of others so that they ensure that those arrangements are in place that is not a trust issue it's a protection issue by thus keeping things not personal but uh, positional that means uh, we don't make it take it a, as a slur on our personal integrity rather we focus on seeing it as 
uh, recognizing that this is strategy it is better to be safe than to be sorry we can avoid exposing ourselves to unnecessary dangers and that when there is no option to uh, get uh, agitated to get degraded then we focus on spiritual growth and by focusing on spiritual growth we become absorbed in it and move gradually rise to purity which makes us less and less vulnerable to temptation and thus we become fully protected so the external barriers or locks or filters they can't protect us completely it is only purity that can protect us completely but around the path towards developing purity such things can aid us and whatever can aid us we can accept that to move forward in our journey towards purity thank you hare krishna